Are you looking to record multiple spotlights in Zoom? And maybe you already know how to do that recording, but you're wanting to make sure that you're capturing everything in Zoom that you want to capture and you don't wanna miss anything. This really is a part two to a video that I'm gonna link here above. Please watch that first about just how to capture multiple spotlights in Zoom in a recording. This is a follow-up for some of you who are looking to capture not only the cloud recording, but also the local recording and exactly how you need to do this. I'm Logan Clements, a freelance event producer based out of Seattle, and this is my real world experience from doing an event where we wanted to capture the multiple spotlights along with the gallery view, along with the speaker view, and I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to do it. Before we jump into it, I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. Without further ado, I am gonna jump into this and show you exactly how to capture all the views in Zoom in the recording, especially when you're using multiple spotlights. All right, so here we are in Zoom and I am currently the only person in this meeting. I own this meeting, so I am the host of this meeting. And one of the really important things to think about is before I jump into it, all of these functions you can only do if you are the host or co-host of a meeting. So if you are just an attendee at a Zoom meeting, you will not see those controls. If you are not made a co-host, you are maybe a, you think you're a co-host, but you don't actually say co-host next to your name, which little bonus tip here. If you ever want to see it, it says host next to me and it would say co-host next to anybody else I made co-hosts, but I'm the only one in the meeting and now I can see these settings. So we've got record down here. Now it's going to be one click. You're going to see two options pop up. One is record to this computer, which is meaning I'm going to record to my local device. The other is record to the cloud. So this is going to go to zoom.com, a cloud recording. Once it's done, it gives me a link I can share with people. So why do you need to be specific when you're doing multiple spotlights? Because what I've learned the hard way is when you just hit record to the cloud, if you have multiple spotlights, it will only capture the active speaker view, meaning it's just gonna follow the current speaker. So if you have a panel, it's not gonna show in the recording four people on the panel. It's only gonna show one person and jump from person to person. Now my other video, again, I'll link it here. You can learn that if you do a local recording, you will then get the spotlight view. So you'll get four or five, however many spotlighted people, they will all be in that recording. Caveat, you don't get the gallery view. So to be specific, you wanna make sure that you're hitting record. And the first thing, and I learned this through testing, if you wanna capture multiple spotlights, speaker view, gallery view, everything, you first need to hit record to this computer. And we're gonna to record to this computer. And here's where you're gonna see, you're gonna see in the participants column, you can see next to where it says host and me, it says it's got a little red dot. So that's showing it's recording. It will also show up top that it's recording. Now, the nuance is, uh, because I've started the local recording, I can't start the second recording. So I would need to have a second person in this meeting to then hit start recording to the cloud. Then it would turn on all of our computers, you'll see it would turn this red dot into a little cloud. So it hasn't stopped the local recording, it's just started the cloud recording in addition. So the, but the order, and you can test this, promise me if Zoom does updates, I promise this changes, but please test this out. But during my testing, it made, if I hit cloud recording first, there was no option to do a local recording. So it's very crucial that you first hit local record, show and confirm. If you're on a phone call or on headset with someone else, you can say, yes, I see the recording. And then a second person, not you on a second device, it has to be a second person or second computer with a different Zoom account, hits start cloud recording. I'm gonna show you what the cloud recording looks like. So I'm gonna record without audio. You can see there, it's now a cloud around the, round, the red dot. So this is getting recorded to the cloud. Now Zoom has made it so I can't show you as one person exactly what that looks like. Again, my other video will show you the example of what a multiple spotlight video looks like. It allowed me to do that more in past versions of Zoom. But the big port important three things are if you wanna capture all the views, one, you need two people. And both of those people need to either be a co-host or a host. And you can only have one host to a meeting as of Zoom right now. So it's a co you need a host and co-host and then you need to first hit local record and then cloud recording. And now say you're doing your event, your event's happening, now you wanna stop your recording. My suggestion would be to then hit stop cloud recording and you'll see your local recording continues. And whoever then started the local recording can hit stop local recording. 
That will then give you a file on that person who did the local recordings computer that is multiple spotlights are captured. You'll also then receive a link from Zoom to your cloud recording that captures your active speaker view and your gallery view. And that brings me to the end of this video about how to record multiple spotlights in Zoom. I highly, highly encourage you to go back and watch the first video I made. This is a follow-up video. If you have other questions about spotlighting and recording, please drop them in the comments below. And as always, I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and I'll see you again next week.